Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another GUI tutorial for Java. GUI stands for Graphic User Interface. So last lesson what we were able to do is we were able to write a program that creates an empty window with the title hello. And this lesson we're going to extend our knowledge a little bit, a little bit at a time. So the first thing you would have noticed is after you wrote your program, after you run the program and you close down the window and you go up to the uh, run hello button, it actually says that your program is already running. And if you look at the console view, the stop button is there. So if you click terminate, then the program is closed. So what we want to do is to make that happen automatically that, so that when we click the close button on the frame, the program is closed. Okay, so what we want to do is add this line of code. So we put Eddie frame dot and notice how when you put dot after an object reference, it tells you all the methods that you can run in that object with that object. So what I'm going to do is choose the set uh, default set default close operation. So I'm going to run this method, and then in the properties, sorry, in the argument of the method, I'm going to put down jframe dot exit on close. Right, so what this means is that when I close down the window, okay, it's going to close, it's going to exit the whole program. So if we try that now, run the program, click the close button, okay, and go back to Eclipse, and you can see that it's automatically terminated. We don't have to click the terminate button again. Okay, the next thing we want to do is try move our window around the place. So uh, you can see here right now, if I run the program, it always starts in the top left hand side. So if I run the method um, set location, set location, and you can see here every time you type a method halfway through, okay, it gives you an explanation of what the method does and um, you can just use that to set the parameters of it. So set location method with the parameter the x and the y coordinates. So I'm going to put down um, let's say 130 just so you can see the difference. So if I run this now you can see it, lo it no longer starts in the top left hand corner. It starts 100 units for the x coordinate from the beginning and y units uh, which is 30 units down from the beginning from the origin. So originally it was here we move 100 units to the right 30 units down. Okay so you can see here that's what's happening. Okay uh, what if we wanted to start right in the middle of the screen then what you would do is you use the method set location relative to null. Okay, so what this method does is it sets the location relative, relative to another component. Now, because we haven't said what component, it'll just put it in the middle of the screen. So you can see here right now, that the program starts in the middle of the screen, which is pretty good. Okay, so um, the last thing we want to do is we want to start adding things to our program. So let's create another component and then add it to our frame. Um, so what are some components we could create? Well, if you browse on the left hand side in the package explorer, you go to uh, rt.jar and then you go to javax.swing and then you scroll down to where it says 
j something these are all the things that all the components that we could create and add to our frame so let's start by adding a button so j button dot class alright so the first thing we want to do is we want to create it so let's do j button space and let's name our button let's call it button one equals and let's create the button object and let's define what we want it to say on the button so let's say click okay that's it and so we've created the button but we now have to add it to our frame so how do we add it well the first thing we do is any frame dot and now what's happening is we can't just add this to our frame and the reason for that is because really the frame is only a border okay we need to add this button to a, a panel so um, the panel that we're going to add it to is called the content pane so we're going to retrieve that object from the frame so we need to run the method get content pane and what this does is it returns the content pane object for this frame so inside this frame there's an object which will be retrieved from running this method and then within this object okay we're gonna run the method add the button so essentially um, all this code does is adds a button to our window okay so if we run this now if we save and run this now you can see here that we have a, a screen with a really huge button so right now the button has filled the whole screen okay because that's what happens when you add an object or add a component it doesn't you haven't specified where you want to put it so there's there's a button right here and if you click on it okay it's filled the whole screen and later on obviously we're going to talk about how to customize the location of things okay thanks for watching guys see you next time